Hello y'all, today is Tuesday, March 9th. I'm heading over to King of the Sing right now. So this morning I did a little thing called uh, Let's Get Checked. It's a test to test your hormonal levels and some other stuff in your body. It's a blood test basically. I'm getting older now so I wanna make sure that my body's working in proper condition and you know, I do feel a little fatigue and I don't feel like it, the best of moods every single day. So I just wanna get checked up to see, you know, how my body is. Unfortunately, however, they provide four Lancers. Lancers are the stuff that prick your finger and I just couldn't get enough blood to come out. I barely could get even like half a drop out. I got to the point where I took a safety pin, I sterilized it, or I thought I sterilized it at least, I put some alcohol on it, and I poked deep into my fingertip. I mean, I poked to where it hurt quite a bit and there was some blood coming out, but still could not get enough blood out. So I contacted the company and they're sending me a replacement kit for free. And they have this FAQ page where they where they said they gave you a lot of tips on how to prepare your body for doing the blood sample. So, you know, so that your body can give as much blood as possible through your fingertip. So I'm gonna try that when it comes in. It's gonna be like another day or two. Uh, yeah, let's hope that one goes well. All right, off to the studio. Butch's Pizza is where it's at. Get on there, order the Butch's, man. It's so good. You can get it at Casey's General Store, which is a semi-regional general store in a lot of rural parts of the Midwest. Is it uh, New York style? Is it sick? So we got our special guest in studio, Lil Brows, Austin oh, Pollard. Really? You got some oh, news? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Baby. Drake dropped some new jams, and now I'm waiting for that little brows. I've been waiting all fucking week, Doug. Oh. You got to move Lil Lil Brows. Where's Lil Lil Brows? He, 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 <laughs> oh, I crushed him. All right. Oh, there you go. Oh, dang, browsed up, huh? What up, What's boys? What's going on, dog? Oh, yeah. Good to see y'all. Yeah, man. What's cracking, dude? What up, Chen? What up, Nick? Fuck it, run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up. Sorry, no, sorry, I'm about to be late. Pulled up to the city with nothing to say. I just went ghost when I hit in my A, and then I tipped the man when I dropped through the gate. 24 hours and I ain't slept yet. Money on my mind and I'll take that bet. Hourglass shape and a back on bed. Women that I love, I ain't met one yet. Women that I trust, I ain't met one yet. Got a cross from my neck cause the boy's so bad. Brand new in the game, but the boy's so vet. And the coming so wild, but the boy's so deaf. And the boy's so wild, but the pants on stretch. Attitude foul, make a grown man flesh. I'm so white in the black tail tent. Fuck it, I'm running up all of that shit. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just popping. I fell asleep in the Gucci pajamas. Oh, this is a I'll give you all a sample of fire boy too. Hey, Browse, why they call you the fire boy? Cause everything that I do, fire boy. I was the one with the can of the gas and the matches, the propane, the tank, and the lighter boy. Woo! Yeah, I don't wanna hurt their feelings. All these thoughts up in my head, they run it a million miles a minute. If I say that I'ma do it, then I really manifest it. If they say that they gon' do it, then they probably never did it. Working every day and I've been staying independent. And I'm trying to mind my business, but the flow is unattended. And the pen is getting sick from all the venom I've been dipping. And the shit is hitting different and it happened in an instant. Woo! I just blew up off a podcast. First one to do it, that's all facts. Still got a lot more to say. They ain't heard my real shit yet, fire boy on the way browser. Come on, God. Damn, Damn. I'm tired. That Google Chrome, baby. Damn. <laughs> Hans, That's meet that. him at 210, dog. How's it, dog? <laughs> Google Dome, bro. That shit hit you in the fucking brain space, daddy. That was fire, man. Are people at, uh, in uh, Cleveland, like, hollering at you now? Mike yeah. Jones style? Yeah, somewhat. I mean, a lot of people have been hitting me up. I actually just talked to Hannah Barron for the first time in the DMs the other day. She oh, said she wants to do a music video. Hell yeah. So I let Shen know. See, it's like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> it's business. It's just business. Y'all trying to holler at my wife, huh? <laughs> oh, y'all. I see y'all. I mean, you get a fight, dog, because that's my girl. Oh, now he wants to fight, huh? I'm not fighting you. I'll, I'll run through you and Hans for her. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Dude. I would drive all the way to Alabama, all right? So that's a wrap for episode 112 of King of the Sing. As you saw, Austin, aka Lil Browse, made a little surprise appearance and debuted a single. He debuted two songs, and they're, as per usual, freaking awesome. Heading over to the T-Fat Key and Blow the Bell studio right now, just for a little bit to pick up some Tiny's Tacos. They're doing the uh, food truck diaries there with Ben Askren. Right after that, head back over here to film King of the Sing After Dark. Talk to you in a bit. <laughs> That's why I'm here. That's the only reason I'm here. Just kidding. <laughs> I want to see you guys too. Have been raved about. Yeah, right oh my song, god. Have you seen too. their videos at all or not? No. Uh, no. Go to their Instagram. Dude, you will, your mouth will water. 
for sure. What up, Michael? Yo, what up, Jim? What up, Jimbo? Chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chillin'. Right, so, no. Just here for the tacos, bro. Oh, yeah. Yep. What up, dudes? How you guys doing? What's up, man? Dude, your your shit looks so fucking badass. And you guys are super funny too. Of course, of course. How you been? Been chilling, man. I, you think I'll be able to get a taco before you guys? Um, Feed them? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I'm gonna be with Cat and Chappelle and Nick again. So if you guys are able to do it before 1:30, is yeah. that possible or no? Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got half an hour. Yeah. If not, it's cool. But if you guys can, then uh, I guess Nick wants whatever he didn't have at the studio last time. Okay. And yeah. then they're different tacos. The only the only one that's the same as from the studio is the goat. Okay, then whatever is different then. Right. And then whatever you think is best for me, Cat, and Chappelle. All right. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. you guys. Right on, man. Nice to meet you too. This is me filming Kev filming tacos. Now this is me filming Kev filming me. That's how we do it. And I thought there was like a bunch of possibilities of this happening. Well, at least they maybe they signed something big. Maybe they do something developer or something talk about it. Yeah. We can split this. There's like three. Yeah, we'll split it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, have a good one, bro. All right. As you can probably tell, it's getting pretty hectic over there. So it was tough to get uh, the Chinese tacos guys to make the tacos in time because there's just hustling and bustling. But here's what we have. So there's three here. We were gonna have four, but it would take too long to make. So I'm heading over to Cats After Dark right now, and I'm gonna share whatever's here with the crew there. And it smells great. Just like that, we are back. Yeah, that's just how I eat. What up? What up? Hi, Hi man. I ordered Hello. Chipotle because there's no way three tacos for four people. So. You know what sucks? Right when I was leaving, they were like, oh, "Do you need one more? Just wait another, like you know, five minutes." I'm like, oh, "I'm not gonna make it in five minutes." <laughs> yeah, then damn it. Yeah. Um, but then we, think we have three big tacos. Can I see these? See you. Yeah. I didn't ask what's in it, but these are looking delicious. <laughs> Especially that one. Mm -hmm. They all look so good. They don't look like the ones I saw on the when they were doing the skit. The Those skit. look, yeah, when they're making your tacos and my tacos. Oh, from the video, yeah. yeah. Tiny. Tiny tacos TVs. I'll do a recording. <laughs> What up? We're back, bitches! It's your boy, Leo H2O. I'm Tiny. We got another debate club for you. Oh, yeah. So today, we're making a specialty taco for a possible serial killer mm -hmm. and uh, OnlyFans royalty. <laughs> On the red corner, yes. we've got that crimson chin taco. Mm -hmm. It's a Korean barbecue God, taco yes. inspired by Chen himself. The serial killer. It's beef bulgogi, <laughs> pickled carrot and daikon, Oof. drizzled with that sangjang. Hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Sangjang. Chen will correct me or kill me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and on the blue corner, we got that only cats, only fans, only taco, only on only fans. That hook Inspired me. Inspired by a Vietnamese dish, bao sao sao up. And I asked two oh, Vietnamese damn. co-workers, and they said I was, said it pretty good. You know, I, know, <laughs> pretty so good. I think I'll be all right. Yeah, I think you're good. So yeah, on that, we got beef, lemongrass, garlic, oyster sauce, fish sauce, mm. Thai chilies, mm. brown pepper, lime juice. And then mm. we're going to top that bad boy like off veggies, with pickled mean. cucumber, onion, carrot. And then we're going to have a little dip dip with a nao chum which is a garlic, sugar, lime, fish sauce, green onion, and chili, dipping sauce with some vinegar, you know what I'm saying? Damn, yeah, praise God! Sprinkle that with some <laughs> herbs. Sprinkle that on my dick, fam, that shit is tight. Right. Yeah, Cilantro. Man, put that down and the hatchet, that chiso. looks fantastic. All in a oh. handmade tortilla. Mm. So, let us know, the Crimson Chin Taco, or that only cats, only fans, taco, only on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. I love these guys. Those are the ones I want to yeah. have the most. Yeah, like Korean barbecue and Vietnamese style. But they still look good. They look amazing. Yeah. Is that one like a... I don't oh, know. That one has like cheese in the middle of it too, so it's like a quesadilla one. I think they all do, to be honest. Ooh. 
God, that's a problem. I know. Oh. Problem. And there is cheese in between the tortillas. Topics for today. Weird stuff. <laughs> hey, see ya. What is that? <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Flash bell. Yeah, what's up? You just deep throw that thing. <laughs> Yeah, damn, I could never. Yeah, I, can't, I can't even finish a Chipotle burrito. You can't? No, I have to I have to get a bowl every I time. I gotta be really patient, but I could do it in one sitting. If yeah, it's tough. I can't, I can't do it. I can't believe you actually did it. I thought you were joking. <laughs> I just heard no. Yeah, that sounded gross. I, I, no, it sounded I good. Felt bad. <laughs> That was like Chin, he just asked, I was like, I was like, you wanna tie me as I, I look, dude. <laughs> I was like, you wanna tie me as I eat this burrito? And he was like, yeah, do you do stuff like that? Do you do competitions like that a lot? I'm like, with myself, you know? We're you, joking. You just compete against yourself. Man. We're just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but he actually did it though. I know. <laughs> if you wanna stick around for a very not safe for work graphic video of me eating that video, uh, eating that burrito at the end of this episode. Good content. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap for all the shows today. Time to head back to Playa del Rey and uh, get prepped for tomorrow's day. It's going to be Fighter of the Kids tomorrow with Joe Coy. Let's see if I record anything else tonight or if I just go do work, enjoy the day, and then see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Man, last night I started feeling some weird stomach pains. Uh... It was after I went jogging too, so I went walking and jogging around my neighborhood. I'll probably post something about that right now. It's pretty cold, yeah? Just walking around my hood. But anyways, I walked and jogged and then I just started, I when I got home, getting ready to eat, I started feeling some weird, like sharp pain in my intestinal area. And uh, I could not sleep all not, all last night. I mean, I think I might've dozed off for a, a minute or two here and there, but it was so bad. I was, I was trying to sleep on my stomach and now it's this morning and it's still hurting pretty bad. I'm gonna see if I can get some Imodium AD to see if that helps. I have no idea how this even happened too. So I'm gonna try that. If it doesn't, I might have to just go to the hospital. All right, just just a quick update. <laughs> <laughs> Note it. Note it. <laughs> Meanwhile, poor Chin's trying not to shit his pants during this entire show. Oh. Not shit my pants. He has food poisoning. My stomach hurts. Yeah. Wait, was it dairy? I don't know what it was. I had the same food <sighs> as them. Dairy. Dairy. Is it because dairy fucks me up? For, well, for Asians in dairy. Yeah, it's dairy, dairy. You give me ice cream, and I love ice cream. Mm -hmm. But I know, man. I, I know Papa. going in while I'm eating it, I'm like, this is about to be a real mm. bad day. Ooh. <laughs> a really bad day. You don't take mm. a lactate pill? No. Got no, I just like my ass life explode. The... <laughs> you want to earn that ice cream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earn, earn that go. You like to blow ass later? That blow night. ass everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I yeah. figured it out. Well, we back. Yesterday was kind of nuts. So as you can see, everything's still on right now. I wasn't able to finish the episode last night because, believe it or not, I had to get emergency surgery for my for my appendix. So sitting down kind of hurts right now. <clears throat> Let's see if I can show you without grossing you out. So there's, they had to go through my belly button, there, and there to remove my appendix and clean up all the stuff that was going on inside my body. And that's why I was in so much pain yesterday. Good thing I just stopped working because I was like, ah, this is getting too crazy. I have to I have to find out what's going on because it did not feel right. Sometimes you just realize your body is telling you something. Like I can handle pain. I'm usually in pain all the time. My back hurts, I have headaches and stuff like that. But this time I just knew for a fact something was definitely wrong. My body was telling me something was seriously wrong so good thing i went and they're saying like it my kidney i'm not my kidney my um my appendix first of all i did have appendicitis and then i aggravated it to where it did rupture and it was like leaking that's super bad for you so luckily i just went to the hospital went to urgent care here in santa monica and then while well, i tried to get an appointment with my primary care physician 
but they're booked up like crazy, right? So I went to urgent care here in Santa Monica. And then after all the checkups, the guy's like, uh, uh, dude, you go to, you got to go to the ER right now. And then I was like, are you serious? He goes, yep, you definitely got to get it checked out. So he called one of his buddies that works at St. John's here in Santa Monica. And it was a whole night process, went there, stayed in bed. They gave me like, you know, put me on all the IVs and all that stuff. Stayed there for, from like four, I think it was 3 p.m. until midnight, basically midnight for the entire procedure for staying there, waiting for the doctor to arrive and then getting the procedure done. And then my brother came to pick me up. He drove me back to my apartment and then I just slept and then woke up and then I Ubered to the hospital, pick up my car and then I drove directly to the studio. And now I'm going to finish the episode and publish it ASAP. Talk to you later. My stomach is in quite some pain. All right, I'm just gonna transfer the Final Cut Pro project into my laptop and start exporting from here on my drive home. Oh shit. Oh my goodness, I still have to do the titles and descriptions for King and the Sting, totally forgot. Gotta do that now while the Final Cut Pro project is exporting. All right, I think that works. You'll see it. Episode 112, King in the Sting. Oh, also, Little Browse made a surprise visit and debuted two sick-ass new songs. You guys will enjoy the episode. All right, let's pack up. What's up, people? All I'm doing right now is just cooking up food. I just cooked up some ramen right now, instant ramen. So it's, you know, just a nice soupy dish. It's a little spicy, which I don't think is good for you after you have surgery, but I really want to have that nice warm broth in my stomach. That's what I feel like right now. Um, I've been taking my medication. I have a... The first one is Colace, which is a stool softener, you know? And then the second one is Painkiller. It's oxycodone slash um, acetaminophen. So I guess it's basically just Percocet, five milligrams to 325 milligrams of acetaminophen. And the last one is Meloxicam. Today was great in the beginning because I just felt, you know, that pain, all that stuff was kind of gone finally. But obviously the surgery part still hurts, right? So the incision areas and just the areas where you can tell like the, they're probing around with their surgical gear. It just kind of hurts inside. But another thing is I was constipated. I wasn't able to go last night or this morning. So when I was eating and drinking water, my, my whole belly was getting super stuffed. And then I also had a lot of gas. So it was really painful midday. And then finally, I was able to go to the bathroom. And that made things a lot better. And I also bought some charcoal tablets that I heard. I was watching on YouTube, people that are post-op with appendectomies that charcoal, activated charcoal is like a good thing for your body. It helps eliminate gas and also helps you to go regularly or as regularly as possible after something like that. That's pretty much it. Um, I'll update you if anything else happens, but I just hope to sleep well tonight or my wish is that I sleep well tonight and uh, every day just gets better and better. <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations.